Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be your June 2022 general reading. Whatever messages come out is what spirit wants you to know. Remember, the energy can be fluid, time can be fluid. Flip flop the rolls and reverse them. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, these could be predictive. Only take the messages that resonate. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You can leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me. Check the description box for pricing on the type of readings I offer. You can also email me for inquiries. I also um, do $10 questions as well. Let's jump into it, Libra. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go with the material. Keep me safe. Give me clear, honest messages for Libra. There you go, Libra. A win-win outcome. Give me clear, honest messages for Libra. Close all doors so no negativity sneaks in. All of the ones I've called upon are welcome here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Return to sender any and all negativity. I should know. This is for Libra, the overall energy for June 2022. Libra. Step out of your comfort zone. Follow your north node. So the overall energy is you may be feeling a little uncomfortable in June. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. Hold your vision. Yeah, it may be uncomfortable. It may not be easy, but success isn't comfortable all the time. It's really pushing yourself. Going above and beyond. Okay. All right. What's love looking like for Libra in June 2022? We have unrequited love. And then we have this could be the one. So I'm feeling like there's somebody that you may have to stick up for yourself too. This new love, yeah, I love you, but that doesn't mean you can run all over me. That doesn't mean you can treat me any type of way. That doesn't mean, you know, none of that shit. Or unrequited love, what I'm seeing is step out of your comfort zone. This person that you're liking may not be your usual type. Even though they may not be your usual type, this could be the one, okay? Someone you're not used to being with. Or for others of you, unrequited love is you're leaving your ex, you're not dealing with your ex anymore, and you found someone new. And this new person could be the one. This is for Libra. What messages do you have for Libra in June 2022? We have the Ten of Swords. I don't read reversals, y'all. So we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out, a lot of change, movement, travel, things turning in your favor. So step out of your comfort zone so this wheel can turn, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Leo. Speaking of Leo, we have the sun, beautiful energy. But you're stressed for some reason, the Nine of Swords. Probably because of this ending. Yeah, this unrequited love. There's been an ending. Or you're wondering, how do you tell this person that you don't feel the same? You got to step out of your comfort zone. Don't be a pushover. All right. Clarify the will of fortune for Libra. The four swords and the hermit. You, you gain some clarity, some wisdom, some knowledge. And it's like once you've seen what you saw, you can't unsee it. Once you hear what you've heard you can't unhear it and i feel like you're coming to terms like yeah I, I honestly don't feel the same anymore anymore and you've actually slept on it you prayed about it you asked your ancestors like what you should do where you should go but unfortunately the tower moment is here it's not a bad tower it's just a it seems like your feelings may have changed okay or this person it's something you used to like doing. You don't like doing it anymore. It's someone that you used to be attracted to. You're not attracted anymore. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if you do still want to be with this person, it's like a how do you get the spark back? Clarify the sun for Libra. The Ace of Swords, his truth, clarity, and communication. You could be cutting this person off. Ten of Cups right here, reverse. You know, Y'all know I don't read reversals, but still, I keep seeing it. The ending. Clarify the Nine of Swords. 
the tower came out again. You're stressed about this ending or this change. You possibly don't want to because you're married to this person or you have kids with this person. You possibly don't. This is you, Libra. This is just you stepping more into yourself. Deciding to get unstuck and really heal. So maybe some of you are getting out of relationships and being single and doing your healing. Um, going on a new journey. Others of you, you may have fell, you've fallen out of love with one person and you want to go towards a new person. Okay. We do have the Empress here and you're doing what's best for you, yourself, growth and expansion. And this is why you got to step out of your comfort zone. And be your truest, authentic version of yourself. The Eight of Cups, more walking away. If you don't, this is going to get toxic, okay? There are some negative attachments that you're trying to release yourself from. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, or another Libra. Okay. Do you have any other messages for Libra? The Queen of Cups. Self-love, the page of pentacles. You're focused on yourself, focused on your money, maybe focused on your child, and you're receiving victory and success at work. I'm getting, this is a financial um, portion of your reading. The nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're doing a lot better on your own. You're just doing a lot better focusing on yourself, doing a lot better on your own when you disconnect. Like, you know, you can already tell, like, your intuition and spirit have already prepped you on this. The next phase in your life, the Eight of Wands. This is a new journey, a new passion. Could be with a fire sign. It's just time for you to do something else, something new, something different. And I see you're going on a financial endeavor. And it's going to be very lucrative for you. Three of, what I see? I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's about your money. Yeah, we got the seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So this is going to take your time, energy, effort, attention, not this relationship. And you just got to do what's best for you. This is what I see. So I do see money rolling in. I do see you focusing on your finances being a really good option for you. And I see steady income. So I see also a raise or promotion. Something helps you turn into this nine of pentacles because we went from the page and we jumped to the nine. Okay, so I see you getting recognized. I see accolades, promotions. The money looks good, really good. And for some reason, I don't know why I'm getting this message. I don't know if you guys have to hide your success from your person. It's like you can't be with this person because they may be jealous of the attention or money or something you're getting. So it's like you can't be with them or you can't tell them all of the good news in regard to your money. Because I don't know if they'll get jealous, but you just feel like you can't um, you can't tell them about the money. I don't know why. So angels, what messages do you have for Libra? Opportunity, yeah. You have a new opportunity coming in. This is for Libra. What messages do you have for Libra, James 2022? And there's no need to worry. I don't feel like you're too worried. The Nine of Swords did come out. For those of you Libras who are worried, there's no need to worry. Your angel said, do not worry. The situation will improve, okay? All right, this is all I have for you, Libra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me. Check the description box. Um, what I want to do is I want to get a number for you guys. What I've been doing was um, putting numbers in the description box, whatever angel numbers you might have been seeing. I didn't get a number for you guys. I'm hearing the number nine, though. So, angels, do you have a number for Libra? Okay, the number 52. Check the description box. See what the angel number 52 means or just what the number 52 may symbolize. And other than that...